So Carmelo Anthony is out in Houston. That's given birth to a couple of different sets of people. So let's ignore the people that come around at this time with the Carmelo is a bum and blah, 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 because as basketball fans, we know that's not true. However, for those of you saying that he doesn't deserve to go out this way and stop pointing fingers and he deserves better than that, there's something to be said in life, not just sports, in life about self-awareness. You have to be able to, especially in the NBA, change your game or develop in a way that can extend your career. That's why Vince Carter is still playing today and Dirk and Kobe did it and LeBron has developed and changed his game several times because these are self-aware guys that understand that changes need to be made in order to stay relevant in a game that's constantly changing. Carmelo Anthony has shown promise as a pick and pop player. He's finishing his post-ups at a higher rate this year than ever in his career. But the same issues that appeared in OKC are happening here. Too many isolation possessions resulting in low efficiency shots, too many long twos, and he can't defend anyone. That lack of self-awareness is defining the end of his career and it defined the end of Allen Iverson's career. And these are both guys that bounced from team to team at the end of their careers really believing that their talent level was a lot higher than what it actually was. And that hurts. You can't employ somebody in a system who doesn't have a realistic outlook on what they provide to the team or where they fit in. Carmelo Anthony's career is not over if he doesn't want to be. He can still provide volume shooting to a team. He can still be a guy who can catch off the pick and pop. But unless he can mentally become a role player and become the type of player that he's needed to be in order to contribute, this may be the end of his career as we know it. Now we know he's not going to Puerto Rico and he's not going to want to do the big three or anything like that, but we're going to need to see a mentality change in order for Carmelo Anthony to ever contribute meaningfully in the NBA again. It's sad, but it's true. He's going to be in the Hall of Fame, no doubt. And you hate to see guys go out like this, but there's something to be said about looking in the mirror and understanding what needs to be done. That's just my take.